But these threats are really not something to joke about because the people making them can face very real consequences. I am making a threat to them. If they are going to threaten to school, I'm going to threaten you and make sure that you are prosecuted for it. Two Works Shoe reporter Micah Hatfield tells us how authorities are handling this flood of threats. Karen, it's been one threat after the next. Tulsa police say everyone they've received so far has been a joke, but that doesn't lessen the panic. It is very upsetting to everyone, to students, to teachers, to all of us who are involved in education to, to have this happening. Classrooms are being disrupted. Parents showing up to the campuses in tears. Fearful the horrific tragedy we watched unfold in Florida could be happening here. These threats are keeping Tulsa police investigators from focusing their manpower on other parts of Tulsa because students in schools are top priority. A lot of our investigators were working through the night to make sure that there was not going to be an actual incident at any of our area schools. And we were very successful in finding out who the authors of these messages were so that we could go out and take care of it. So far, TPD has arrested a 14 and 15 year old for making threats, and they could be charged a felony that carries up to 10 years in prison. It's not a joke and it's not something to joke about. And if you decide to joke about it, we will prosecute you. All agencies are thankful the threats are being reported to prevent something from happening. It's just a matter of stopping the threats altogether. That's where they say family members, neighbors and pastors need to step in and make sure the children understand the magnitude of what they're doing on social media. In every tragedy, there's a silver lining. And if it gets us talking and it gets us talking about more responsibility in social media and, and what responsibility we have as adults and what the kids have a responsibility, if it gets that conversation going, then there's the, the silver lining in, in a very, very bad tragedy. Tulsa Public Schools encourage people not to assess the credibility of a threat they may hear about on their own. They should call law enforcement or TPS does have a link on the homepage of their website to report safety concerns. Brian and Karen, back to you. All right. Thank you.